Mr. Link? Hey, Penny, let's all talk. Right. Oh, all right. What's up? So what did you want to talk about earlier when you called me? Well, I asked you when you'd be free for the... I'm free uh, right now. I need something to get my mind off shit. Please oh. give me anything. Fuck. Mm. Okay. Uh, I mean, we've got a new employee here right now. We've got Layla. We've got Sully. Max. Patrick. Hmm. But I know Layla. a couple others. Yeah, Layla's here. She's on the counter. Like Layla, Layla? Like the, the nerd? Like Layla. Yes, Layla, Layla. And also, Stag has been working as well. Ooh, Stag should be around. Wait, why are they mm. working again? I don't know. It's like a throwback. Cool. I love it. All right. So are we keeping Kai fired? Um, okay. So, uh, like I said, um, Alex and Drea, Drea specific, uh, like, it's especially your decision, has, Penny. Like, I trust you in my life. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, I would like to keep Kai fired. And she stays fired. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to but, start moving a lot of heroin to the restaurant. What? Yes. Wow, so that one night was serious. What do you mean? There was one night where you and Mr. Tony were here and, and like you're all like, oh my God, Rooster's down bad. We got to start pushing heroin through. I didn't think you were serious. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So um, with that being said, Penny... <clears throat> This can leak to nobody. Of ever. course. Of course. I'm yeah. buying the wiener shop across the street. Okay. Well, not across the street, but next to us. Okay. Uh, and we are going to be transport, manufacturing all the heroin here and pushing it out of the wiener shop. Here, here, where? Where are you going to do it? The hotel? The, the staff room? Oh, I guess we have that free room in the back. I'm going to be doing it in the basement, Penny. In the storage room? All right. Yes. The storage room. I mean, never, nobody ever goes down there anyway. Penny... You can never break my trust or I will kill you. Of course. Then follow me. Come here, Penny. Come here, Penny. Sorry, my head is bad. Listen. There's a reason why I'm overly paranoid. Okay. There's a reason why I always freak out. Mm-hmm. And there's a reason why this place is the most important place to me in the entire world. Okay. And there's a reason why... I get so skeptical and immediately paranoid whenever you are doing something that I'm one, not aware of, two, is in with people who can destroy everything I've kept hidden for so long. There's a reason okay. why I put you as the essential owner of this place, because I trust you with my life, Penny. And that trust is the most important thing in the world to me. And it can never be at risk or broken by any means, no matter how small the situation is. Okay. This is why. Oh my God. Holy shit. 
There's an entire. What the fuck is this? Penny, there's a lot you don't know about me. Okay. This restaurant was never owning just a restaurant. It used to be much, much more than that. Now, that thing might be dead forever, but it does not mean that its secret must be kept down here for all of eternity. Okay. To the point where I feel if it's even threatened by just a 1% margin, I will have to kill whoever is involved. Okay. I get it. I mean, is this a good or bad time to tell you I have keys to... Oh, or, keys to what? I have keys to the CG compound in Little Soul. That's it. It's because I live there. Penny, with... I, I need you to understand something. I don't yeah. give a fuck about what you do with Chang Gang. Okay, okay thank what, you. All right. What, what, I just wanted I, I to, I just give want to be clear about, about that. Okay? All right. And I don't want yeah. this to be insulting. Is that uh -huh. you are a woman with compassion and love. Mm -hmm. And those two mm -hmm. things are the easiest things to take advantage of. Right. And I need you to believe me that although your love with Curtis might be real, mm -hmm. the people around him will use that to an advantage by any means necessary if the reasoning in their minds is a good one. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to overstep into your life as long as I can trust you not to be taken mm -hmm. advantage of. All right. I'm, I mean, I will, I promise I'm going to do my best to not do that. And I trust Curtis to not let that happen as well. And I like Curtis a lot. I like some of the Chang'e guys a lot, but you have to understand the history there and the, uh, what's mm -hmm. the word? We are two groups out for the same goal. And that is to control this city. Now, I'd like to think that we have the advantage on that personally, but they probably like to think they have the advantage on that. And whenever we feel like we can one up each other, they are more than likely going to take that advantage. That does not mean you cannot hang out with them. That does not mean that you can't develop real relationships with these people. All it means is you have to be very careful on everything you say and you do at all times. Absolutely. Because they might, you know, and I'm not talking about Curtis here, just, just to clarify. I think Curtis is a really good fucking guy. Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I really do think that you and him are good together. I'm just speaking as their organization as a whole. Rightfully so, they will take any advantage they can as we will do the same. It, it's just Romeo mm -hmm. and Juliet. I understand. And I agree. And now, I might be using this basement to push out a lot of heroin, but this basement used to be much, much greater than that. The whole organization was ran down here for years, oh, centuries, okay. but for, by me personally, for years. And the reason why I had to, well, I wanted to execute Petunia was because she got too close and put my trust at risk. Now, I never had the opportunity to execute her because she fled and disappeared better than anybody else I've ever met in my life. But it was the same situation with her. I needed absolute trust and loyalty. So she risked <clears throat> this place. She essentially woke up one day and tried to plant a seed in my mind telling me that she was a part of the organization that I ran for years, for centuries, and her family was a part of the whole thing, and that she was a part of the whole thing, and essentially trying to tell me what I already knew what was wrong, but it was right. And at that oh point, my God. all that she put at risk needed to be eliminated. And I'm not, now I'm not a man who chooses to kill people I consider family very easily, but I am a man who's willing to do that if I see it to be fit. Okay. That is why Mia Furan was executed in the basement of this basement. Oh, okay. These are things I'm telling you that very few people know, Penny. I need you to understand the, gra the gravity of the trust that I am putting into this conversation. I completely understand. And that man was executed because he was too far gone. He was going against everything I was trying to do and the point where he was about to snitch out this entire place to the police. And now I might not have very many secrets, but my best kept one is this one. I mean, you've worked here for months and never even heard about this place. It is something I take very, very seriously. Yeah, I, I see that. And regardless that of the now. things that I've done, regardless of the things that you've done, regardless of 
the, the mistakes you've made or the mistakes I made. One thing is always held true, Penny, is that I trust you with my life. And this restaurant here is greater than that. And that is why once we start transporting and pumping heroin out this fucking bitch, I need you to be aware and I need you to be ready to trust me and mm -hmm. the decisions that I will make in the future. All right. And also keeping your mouth shut. Of course. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Now you're wondering how we're going to move the heroin from here to the wiener shop. Just, just follow me. All right. More. Oh my god. What? Oh my god, this is crazy. Now, if we take a look at the map, we are in the parking lot of the wiener shop. Oh my god. The place isn't operational yet. We are working on acquiring it. Oh, okay. Uh, that door remains locked for now. The goal right. would be to manufacture in the basement you were just in, transport to the tunnel you just walked through, through here into trucks that go throughout the city. Oh my god. All right. <clears throat> okay. And uh, do you have like an ETA on when this is going to be open and when you're starting? Uh, no ETA yet, but the foundation is being uh, laid right now. Things are mm -hmm. being built. Uh, conversations are being had to make sure everything uh, is set up appropriately. But I hope with me including you on this information gives you a better understanding as to why I am the way I am. No, it does. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Lang. Or <coughs> trusting me with all of this. Penny, I really I've always trusted you. I've had my concerns. I've had my skepticism, but in the end, if I cannot trust you, then I cannot have you at Rooster's Rest. And at the end of the day, you are the heart and soul of that place. The person I've been trying to find for years, who I once thought was Petunia, has been you all along. Thank you. I mean, You've never abandon it. It's always been your number no. one priority, even though uh, whenever you made a mistake, your intention was always to make this place a better place. It was never out of malicious intent. That is why I've never gotten rid of you or really gotten even that mad at the things that you have done, which I don't really think are big things. But in hindsight, it could lead to big things. And this is why I'm letting you know about this place. That way, when we operate moving forward, you know exactly what I am risking. All right. Yes. I, know, I very much know that now. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. Um... <clears throat> 
There's a lot more rooms down here. You, uh, you probably won't see today. I can show you some other time. I just had a very stressful day. Oh, okay. But uh, just know moving forward, I'm going to be... I don't know exactly when, but you'll know when it's time. And my okay. plan is essentially to bring in all of the employees who have been the most loyal and have been around for a long time to help with this operation if we deem them fit to do so. Okay, great. Yeah, absolutely. And the idea and, um, will be we'll have the operation being ran alongside the restaurant. Some will know, some won't know, and everybody will get their pockets filled with cash. Oh, shit. All right. Okay. Um. Okay. This is big. This is... Okay. This is massive pain. I, I need you to understand that we're yeah. about to put something at risk that I never imagined to put at risk, and that is this very restaurant. Well... Well, if, I mean, if it all goes wrong, like, you know, I'm willing to go down with it. No. Right? The reason why I'm telling you this is because if it all goes wrong, I'm going down and you're keeping this place running. Well, yeah. Okay. I marry, I very well may lose everything here, Penny, but if, if I can okay. sit behind bars knowing that this place is being ran because of you, I will die a happy man. I know, but I'm just thinking of the way that I don't know if anyone will believe that. You know what I mean? That... Well, they'll believe it. They can't prove it otherwise. True. Okay. True. I trust you, Mr. Lang. Okay. All right. Moving forward, I'll keep in touch with more details. Just know this is kind of just the uh, very vague foundation for now. As we iron things out, you will be updated. And, as, and once the operation is, you know, starts to kick off, uh, I will need your help. All right. Yes, please let me know. And just remember, this is our best kept secret. I've yeah. known people in the city for years who don't know about this place. Okay. Okay. Yes, I promise. I believe you. Get out of here. All right. Thank you. You don't have to thank me for anything, Penny. I can't. I can't. Oh, it'll be a knife for you. <laughs> She's taking a look. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to go take a look around, you can. I'll wait outside. Hello? Penny? All right, we'll make sure to get that storage closet cleaned out. Penny? Am I scuffed? Oh, her head popped? Okay. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah, what's up, Blake? Yeah. yeah. Hi, welcome. Oh, sorry, I was doing some help scuff you issues. Oh, hey, okay. son, let me talk to you real quick. Okay. You okay, sir? Uh, let me see the small guy. How you been, Sonny? How you been? Great. Never better. What's up? You sure about that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I I thought about what we talked about at your uh, at your mansion there, and I uh, yeah, I understand what you're saying. So uh, you're not gonna hear you're not gonna hear that. You know, you need me, I'll do it. But uh, I'm not gonna just just go fucking crazy. All right. You sure about that? Yeah. I mean, what do you? What do you I I could I could I could do it myself. I could do it myself, but. You know what I mean? I would never do anything without your seal of approval. You had your doubts. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to put the name of the whole thing up there. It's just, just, just for my vanity, just because I think it's right. It's, it's it has to be right. So, you know, you need me. Sonny. Yeah. If you want me to be honest with you. Of course. You don't lie to me. That shit may be dead in the water forever. That's what you said last time. And I, and I didn't at first I was fucking pissed at you. I was like, no, fuck this guy. 
Like, what, what, what is going on here? But the more I thought about it, the more it made sense. Um, I, I see helicopters battling each other. Um, I just fucking the PD. I, I walked by like three of them dead the other day. But what what can I do? They're getting, it's there, there's other ways that I can do things. I'm 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 thinking outside the box. And that's here. exactly the point, <clears throat> Sonny. There's other ways that things can be achieved. And the most crucial one to understand, and I, and I know this might sound very materialistic and cliche, but money is power. Listen, I, you know me, I, I literally don't give a shit about money. It is a tool. All right. The only reason I accumulate money was, was, was that goal. You, you are lucky that you made me give that fucking $3 million back. This whole city would have burnt down. I would have burnt this entire fucking city down and rebuilt it. So, number one, so what you need you to understand here, Sonny, is yeah. that with this very tool, I was able to get a grip on the city. I never thought I'd even be able to achieve with my organization. And unironically, I did that through the power of money. Yeah, you've always been a rich guy. What's I've never been a shit? rich man. I mean, I've been a poor man and I've been a rich man, but I'm choosing rich every fucking time. You understand me? Nah, I'm sure it makes things a lot easier. You know what I mean? So with that being said, the plan moving forward is to push a metric fuck ton of heroin out of this restaurant. Jesus Christ. I know everything there is to know about heroin. I pff, recovering addict on that. But uh, I know I, I literally know everything about heroin. <laughs> Fucking fentanyl, heroin, you snort it, shoot it, <laughs> whatever you need. I can, uh, I well, can teach people how to load it I'm going to need you to stay fucking clean, Sonny. I, hey, that's the number one rule. If Don't I, get if fucking I'm high on your own supply, understand me? Well, listen, I, I, I've, I've, I sell other stuff. I don't, I don't use my own stuff. I smoke a little weed. I drink. Um, I can control it. Don't worry. I'm not gonna, you're not going to find me down there with my face in the fucking you know, a quarter key or something. Don't worry about it. Well, I fucking hope not. I have discipline. I'm, what, what, you, you, you know, I, I get discipline. Don't worry about me. All right, I'm fucking locked in. Sonny, here's the deal. I'm getting a fucking drop on heroin in a couple of days, hopefully. And my plan is not to work with this connect. My plan is to actually reverse engineer the product and start making it ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I I, I know everything there is to know about it. You got If you're working with poppies, if you're making synthetics, I fucking, I got you. All right? I, I got you. I, I fucking... I'll, I'll fucking go to the health department. I'll get Narcan for everybody. I'll fucking make sure that these motherfuckers don't fall out. You know, I'll, I'll try to keep the fucking the fiends in check. You know, that these fucking heroin addicts, they, they, they run games. Like, I will. I got you. I know the game. I will fucking so take care of it. step one, Sonny, is I need you to tell nobody about this. <laughs> about th I don't tell nobody anything. I fucking, I come to work. I do my thing. I go home. I go to sleep. You ain't going to worry about Step me. Step two, I'm going to need you to be around a lot more within a week or two, if you yeah. can. I can. Just uh, once the operation gets started, you, you, I'm around. I've been around. Listen, I, 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 I'm around. I don't, I don't fucking, I don't involve myself in you. I know you're a busy guy. I don't, I, I don't call you. I, I let you do your thing. I do my thing. You need me. I'm around. Step three is just to wait for their instructions. We're laying the foundation down right now, but the minute I call you, I'm going to need the best version of you, Sonny. I don't need you fucking getting high on the supply. I don't want to have to kill you. Hey, it's over. All right. I'll, I'll even stop drinking. I'll get this fucking white claw. Fucking... So clean yourself the fuck I'm up done. and get ready for this shit because I'm going to need people who are fucking ready. Because what we're about to risk is everything. Yeah, I mean, I got you, boss. I don't give a fuck about jail. I'm never, they, I'm never, fucking naming names. I'll go to the fucking grave. Don't you worry about me. I don't give a fuck. Jail's co-ed. I'll fucking marry a girl in there. I don't give a shit. All right. So wait, my phone call. All right. I'll be in touch. I, I got you. All right. Thanks for uh, trusting me. Still. If anybody asks, we just talked about recipes. Yeah, yeah. Grandma's mac and cheese. I make the fuck out of that stuff. What's up, Petty?
Hey, what's up, Carl? Hey, sir, how are you doing, man? Oh, I'm chilling. Oh, yeah, did, you, did uh, X actually send me the password? Let me see. He did not, so I cannot change it yet, sadly. 